welcome back in today's video i am going to show you a ai based web dashboard which is created using on google sheet and app script okay so this ai dashboard helps you to remind to your customers their subscription expiration their subscription expiry dates okay so you can see here the dashboard here let me show you all the things and its ai features step by step first i am going to log out to show you the login screen so you can able to see here this is a login screen of our web application and we have here two user roles the admin and the user the admin can see all the data but the user can able to see their own data i just simply enter my admin details and click on this sign in so when i click on this sign in as of now you can able to see here i have the total five employees the total five companies expiry in two days if i want to send the email i can directly send the emails from here and you can also able to see here the expiring in 14 days right now nothing in 14 days expiry so it will in the loading state okay so in the employees data you can able to see here here's a crud web application we have implemented here you can also send the emails delete and edit the data from the here and the green indicates that the license is not expired yet and the uh, blue indicates uh, the indicates that are 30 days remaining and the five and the yellow indicates that five days remaining in the expiration and if you want to apply the filters you can easily apply the filters as well like expiring zone and also a valid 14 days in the old status or also you can apply the filters here okay so again if you click on this add employee you can easily add out a new employee in the passport location you have a option of the drop down selection or you can enter a manually data as well if it's not available in the drop down how you can do that let me show you an example this is a demo and uh, this is a email id i am going to enter here okay so you can able to see here i am successfully entered a email id here here's a passport number demo number as the passport expiry number i just select it here the visa expiry okay the cpr number i enter the demo and here's i also enter the demo the driver license i also enters here the demo and you can see now you can see the legal uh, department i just simply select here the legal so you can see here in the suggestions or in the drop down i have uh, i have come the legal department if it's not available you can add a new so this will be uh, added as a new passport location salary you can also add and click on this save employee so when you click on the save employee your employee is added successfully in your database okay so your employee you can see the employee is added successfully because we are using the current two-day date so all in the yellow state okay so again the scene is here uh, in the company data everything is same and if you want to add a company so you can also add a company data here in the manage users you can create a data or you can create a users of your account or an admin or you can also edit or delete again add user option now what is the ai email feature so this ai email feature you can able to see here this is a drop down i can simply select a any company or any user from here for example this is a demo i just simply select here and i just simply give him a, a press a write with ai so what does the ai will do the ai will check the user's data the how much days remaining in their subscription expiration and what they will action so they will write a email for you and you can easily send out them directly from here okay let me show you it will take three seconds so it will it will loading it will analyzing your data 90 percent data is completed so the ai we are using here is absolutely completely free how you can get it i have already added a setup instruction here so you can check it out from here as well okay so you can see the employee uh, the email is added urgent accent required automatically he just okay now the no is expiring date okay expiring today expiring today expiring today and next step we will add here and everything if you want to make a preview you can easily make a preview of the data like well and if you can if you want to send you can simply click on this send email and click on this okay 
so when you click on this okay your email is going to be sent it successfully and now you can able when you are going to refresh your data so you can see here the urgent action required and your email is being successfully sent it to that particular user in the automation section what is in the automation section you can disable or enable the email notifications what exactly is this email notifications we have added a triggered here okay so we have added a triggered in our automation section so you can see here the trigger status is inactive means now this email trigger cannot send daily cannot check the daily our data and send emails to the customer and if you click on this enable daily emails so this system regularly check on nine o'clock if they how much uh, you can see here emails will be sent automatically at 9 a.m every day for documents expiring within 14 days okay so which uh, document expiry within 14 days it will automatically send the emails to that particular users okay so what happen admin email templates so if you want that a subscription is expired and admin will also be notified so you can add unlimited admin emails here so all the admin email all the admin can also get the email which is sent to the user okay again this is okay now again who you can see here how it works and email criteria and the features of this web application easily you can check it out that i already have a previous work two days ago this is a data and uh, right now you can able to see here in the uh, daily reports in the daily reports they will give you a, a report like email sent how much email sent and how much either errors count and how much error details so if you want to make a test you can simply click on this test and when you click on the test so it will sending a testing data to your drive okay so testing data is going to be done and you can also able to see here the total 11 emails and 11 11 is sent it no errors found it here so again you can check here email expiry notification so this is a email expiry notification expiry notifications for a demo purposes so hope so you like it and how you can set up it now let me show you again so when you have this uh, url uh, this url will be opened in front of you like this kind of interference you don't need to uh, do anything you just simply click on this make a copy and when you click on this make a copy a file of this google sheet is automatically created in your google drive and save in your google drive so the link the uh, copy of the subscription reminder will be opened in front of you whatever the name name does not matter you can change it on time of the copy as well simply go to your extensions click on this app script so when you click on this app script so you will be redirected here okay now you simply need to uh, go to the uh, the how to do set up the uh, api key of the uh, ai so you can simply follow and get the api key and replace your api key in your code.js line number 460 and then click on this deploy and click on this new deployment so when you click on this new deployment you can simply click on this deploy okay so make sure uh, it will be the everyone and click on this authorize access so when you click on this authorize access uh, continue the access okay click on this advanced here and click on the go to this particular name this name can be changed on your end because if you have changed your google sheet data as well okay now it's done now you can able to see here updating the deployment it will give you a url web app url link you can simply copy this or open this link in the in the new window bar or in a new tab and again you just need to enter here user details right now you can here uh, we already have checked the uh, admin but now we are going to check out the user here so user one and again when i enter here the user one two three and click on this sign in so now the user only able to see their own data okay so user cannot able to set up the automations email automations and can add the data or cannot able to see the dashboard they can just able to see their own data and their own company data okay so you can see here and the ai email they can use them and they can also able to select their own recipient they, which will be added by the user so you can see here they will select any particular user and again write with email so it will be the working in this case so hope so you like this video you like this concept thank you very much for watching this video complete and we have used here the deep api key for the email composition thank you very much